Welcome, I'm Joshy, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have Hulk going up against Absorbing Man. Um, now, if you saw my last video, we had Hulk against Crossbones using a deck built by Villain Theory. We're going to try and do the same deck again because we didn't get much of a showcase in the last video of the deck, and hopefully against Absorbing Man we will. Uh, so it's a leadership deck, and again, link will be in the description. So let's go through setup. So we have Absorbing Man comes in with uh, 14 hit points per player, so we've got 14. Um, our setup here, we have discard cards from the encounter deck until an environment is discarded, put that card into play, and then shuffle the encounter discard pile back into the encounter deck. So we'll do that. There we go, we've got the abandoned facility, which uh, has the metal trait, and absorbing man gains the trait of each environment in play. So this says, after absorbing man makes an undefended attack against you, discard one resource icon from your hand, two resource icons if there are five or more delay counters on the main scheme. Flip this over, and we have the none shall pass uh, skip main scheme, so comes in with two threat per player. And it says after resolving step one of the villain phase, we place one delay count on here. And a force interrupt is when an environment enters play, discard each other environment card in play. And also if this reaches 12, we lose the game. All right, so let's draw up our hand size for five for Bruce. We have a boundless rage, unstoppable force, thunderclap, Limitless Stamina, and a Heli Carrier. Um, I'm going to throw away Thunderclap, Unsolvable Force, and Boundless Rage, and draw three more cards for our Mulligan. Got to go down Swinging, Crushing Blow, and Limitless Strength. Okay. We'll use our Experimental Research ability to draw a card and discard a card. We have Clarity of Purpose. We'll get rid of Go Down Swinging. We'll then flip up to Hulk. We'll use our Limitless Strength to put in a Heli Carrier. So Heli Carrier being exhaust and choose a player, reduce the resource cost the next card that player plays is phase by one. We will then use the Heli Carrier to put in a Clarity of Purpose. Which says, attached to a friendly character, max one per character, exhaust this card and deal one damage to the attack attached character and we generate a wild resource. Uh, we will then attack for three on Absorbing Man, taking him to 11. And then we'll just do a crushing blow using a physical resource to deal damage to an enemy equal to your attack. Our attack is three, so another three damage. Taking Absorbing Man down to eight. And we're ready up. Draw four cards. We have an Unstoppable Force, Mockingbird, Limitless Strength, and a Leadership Skill. Okay, so one threat goes on the main scheme, plus one delay counter. Uh, Absorbing Man's going to attack us. So he's coming in for two plus, we'll just take it, two plus nothing. So we take two. And after Zoyman Man makes an undefeated attack against you, discard one resource icon from your hand. We will get rid of Unstoppable Force. And get our encounter card. Fallen Chain, attached to Absorbing Man. We can spend a physical resource to shove this card into the encounter deck. Uh, so we reveal this, so he's getting plus one scheme, plus one attack. We're going to use the Heli Carrier to put in leadership skill. Actually, this just comes in with three counters. And it says, when an ally makes a basic thwart or basic attack action, we can remove one leadership counter here and they get plus one thwart and plus one attack for that action. Um, we're then going to spend three resources to bring in Mockingbird. And we're after Mockingbird in its place, stun an enemy. So we will stun Absorbing Man. We will... Exhaust Clarity of Purpose to make a physical resource for taking one damage. To get rid of Ball and Chain, put this back into the encounter deck.
We will thwart for one with Mockingbird. In fact, we'll use one of our tokens, that should be a three, to make it a thwart of two. She takes one consequential damage. Uh, Hulk will attack for three. Taking Absorbing Man down to five. And then we're ready. Get our four cards. Crushing Blow. Go down swinging. Snow Guard. Snow guard and Agent 13. Okay. One threat goes on the main scheme. We get another delay counter, so this goes to two. Sword Man would attack, but he's stunned. Get our encounter card. All the chains back. Okay. All right. We'll attack for three with Hulk. Taking Absorbing Man down to two. I'm going to spend one. Two, three, four. To bring in Snow Guard. And so after Snow Guard enters play, we can place up to three shift counters here. While the shift counters here, uh, depending on how many she has, she gets, if we have one, she gets plus three attack and gains overkill. If we have two, she gets plus three thwart and an aerial trait. Or we go three, she has uh, five hit points and gains retaliate one. We are going to go three on this. So she's got uh, eight hit points and retaliate. Um, yep. We will thwart for one with Mockingbird, just keeping this under control, not that we really need to worry about it. We'll do this any again of exhaust. Taking a damage exhaust and clarity purpose for a physical resource to get rid of ball and chain, which gets shuffled into the encounter deck. Grab a little retaliate snow guard just so I remember. And we'll ready up. Okay, four cards. We have power on all of us, another heli carrier, leadership skill, and energy. All right. Uh, one threat goes on the main scheme. Get another delay counter, so it's up to three. Uh, absorbing man attacks, we will defend with snow guard. Just coming in for two plus, so three. She takes three damage. She retaliates for one. And uh, that was a defended attack because we used Snow Guard, so we don't need to worry about the metal trait. We get our encounter card. Are you kidding me? Roll and chain's back. I'm shuffling this, right? Am I not? Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to use the heli carrier, put in a leadership skill. Oh, wait, it's max one per player. So, maybe we won't. We're just going to attack, knock absorbing man into stage two. So, Steel gains the trait of each um, 
environment play. When revealed, a super absorbing power is in play. Deal one encounter card to each player. Otherwise, search the encounter deck and discard pile for super absorbing power and reveal it. And then shuffle the encounter deck that was revealed this way. There's super absorbing power. So absorbing man now gains the ice, metal, stone, and wood traits. And that comes in with three threat per player. Definitely shuffling this time. All right. Uh, I'm going to thwart two with Mockingbird. Bring that down to one. We're going to spend a physical resource, shuffle this in. Definitely shuffling again this time. See if it comes out again. Um, oh, and Azoi Man should have 15 hit points. We're going to flip down. I'm going to throw away the leadership skill. Actually, I'll use our ability to draw a card and discard a card. Yep, okay. We'll throw away leadership skill. We'll then spend three resources to put in a movable object. The so Hulk gains retaliate. And another four hit points, taking us back up to our original starting of 18. Already up. Oh, Lucky Bird should be gone. Okay, we'll draw five cards. We have Blade, Thunderclap, Genius, Hope Summers. And a suborbital leap. All right. We get one threat in the main scheme, and another delay counter. Absorbing man schemes for two plus nothing. Strap two, pushing us to five out of twelve. Get an encounter card. This card gains Surge because we're an Alter Ego. And we've got a Hydro Regular, which has Insight 1. So when this card's revealed, we place one threat on the main scheme. Okay. Uh, I need to do math. Okay, cool. We'll use our ability to draw a card, discard a card. It's Lockjaw, we'll throw him in the discard because we can always play him from the discard if necessary. We'll flip up. We will use two resources. Hello Carrier and a Clarity of Purpose, taking the damage to generate four resources to bring in Hope Summers. And Hope Summers gains uh, each trait on your identity, so she's an Avenger in Gamma. Um, after you play Hope Summers from your hand, which we just did, we search our deck for a superpower card and add it to our hand. And we shuffle. So we want. A Hulk smash. We are then going to spend three resources, three physical resources, for the Hulk smash. So we're going to swing for 13. 
So Hawk Smash gives plus 10 to attack, and if we paid for it using physical, it gains overkill. So 13 onto the Hydra regular, so he takes 2. Absorbing Man takes 11. Taking him down to 4. Uh, Hope's just going to thwart 2 to get rid of Super Absorbing Power. Taking one consequential damage there. And now we're ready up. Draw four cards. We have Limitless Stamina, Hulk Smash, Strength, and Enhanced Physique. Get through this, we've pretty much won. Okay. One threat on the main scheme. Another delay counter taking us up to five. Sword Man's attacking. Snow Guard's going to defend. Coming in for two plus. If there are five or more delay counters on the main scheme, which there is, take one indirect damage. So indirect damage I can split up however I want amongst my characters. So it's all just going to go to our Snow Guard. So she's getting two plus the one indirect damage, taking her to six. And she's got eight life. She also retaliates for one. We get our encounter card. We don't need to worry about this because we defended. Shadow of the Past. Okay, so reveal our set aside Nemesis minion. Put them in play engaged with us. There's Abomination. Put our Nemesis side skin in play. There's Total Destruction. And these get shuffled into the deck. So that comes in two threat for player. Gives us a hazard icon. But we are just gonna do what we love to do. We're gonna spend three physical resources for Hulk smash of 13. Six goes on to Abomination. The remainder is more than enough to defeat Absorbing Man. So there we have it, uh, Villain Theory's Run For Your Life deck. We still didn't get to do any go down swingings with the uh, allies, but that's fine. This actually worked out quite well, I think. Um, it's a fun little deck. He tried to make it thematic. Um, it, I'm sure it's, it's all right. This kind of thematic it would be more thematic if I was swinging my allies around and knocking them around. Um, but yeah, once again, Hulk's strongest one there is. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.